On this episode of Cash Canada, we're challenging the bear. Lyric Glass and I are after 99 challenge caches that make up Kelowna's challenge bear. We did all the coordinate changes, and here we are, we already have our first cache. Right on the tree. Look, right beside you. Turn to your right. Ah. <laughs> Jeez. It blended right in. <laughs> Holy doodle. <laughs> you know, she's not the only one that does that. It happens to everybody, including me. <laughs> in all fairness, that was a five difficulty. So there you go. <laughs> This one is in a stump. Not either one of those. Hmm. Right there. Nice. Beauty. Okay, so uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder, she's not. <laughs> this next one is under a fallen log. Take your pick. Another DNF. This is ground zero. And if it was over there, We've had how many DNFs in a row now? Uh, one, two, two three, three, four. Four DNFs in a row. And this one's supposed to be on a small tree. There is no small trees. And the last one there, that was uh, a fallen log and it's been clear cut and burned. So it's not looking good. You know, honestly, I, I never thought that we would get the whole no, but bear. I didn't think there would be this much. No, but this is um, quite... Oh, this is a... What year is this from? Yeah, this is not new, so... 
and um, finding yeah. uh, Wi-Fi is really difficult. Well, that's why I'm glad that we brought the GPS. Yeah. Uh, you would not be able to do this. She can't get on. I can get with the uh, off, offline data is allowing me to, to navigate. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it freezes up. Um, these caches are from 2013, so that's uh, eight, eight years, years old. Yeah. So and they look eight years old. So and um, you know some of them just are not there anymore. And I, I believe it's our, our belief. You you concur that mm -hmm. you know a lot of times people will go through a, a series like this and they will log they go through the whole thing, have DNFs and then either can't remember or just log them anyway. Mm -hmm. Right, and we don't want to do that. Um, we're trying to tell you how to do geocaching the proper way, and we just have to suffer the fact that our bear is going to have gaps. He's going to have holes shot in it. <laughs> That's where the mosquitoes cut him. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, hopefully, uh, it goes well. And what are your thoughts on that? Like, what do you do? Like, you know, you're doing a geo art, and you can't find one. You know, it's it's depressing. You can't complete it, you know, and yeah. it's if it's far from home like this, this is like three, four thousand miles from home. Yeah, we're not coming back out. To, you know, to we could DNFs. come back here because we have family here, but still, you know, it, it'll be like last on our list to come back. Yeah. Anyway, let's go see if uh, we get more DNF so we can finally find one. Before we head off to the next little stretch, just bear with us a minute while we have a little snooze. Uh, it's 31 degrees Celsius out right now, uh, and we're just going to take a little intermission, so bear with us. After a little nap, we've got four in a row. No more DNFs, we hope. Things are looking up. Hopefully, I don't want to jinx it. That one was amazing. The hint was three fallen logs and one stick. And after eight years, three fallen logs and one stick. Oh, I love that kind of hint. <laughs> amazing, it survives that long. Yeah. So Lyric Lass, what are your thoughts on that geo art and geo arts in general? I really enjoy doing geo arts. I find it fun to see as the picture grows and grows. I found this geo art funny because um, in a forest with 6,432 trees, the hint said tree. Yeah, that was kind of unusual that, uh, it, you know, it said tree and then you look out the window and you see like thousands of them, but uh, I don't know, what, what could they use other than tree? Well, well, some of the things in other geocaches that I've seen is like knee height or head height, a specific kind of tree, um, there's, there's different things you could do. What are your thoughts on the DNFs that we had? Well, I think some of the DNFs um, clearly need some, some work because um, one of the areas was logged and burnt and um, some of the logs needed a little bit of tender loving care. But I think, you know, if it's a DNF, you should log it as a DNF because then the person can come out and maintain the caches and it's more enjoyable when you don't have to search around for 20 minutes for a DNF. What, what's your opinion about the DNFs? We know a lot of people that would probably just put throwdowns and at one point we used to you know you look at it and you say well this is it's got to be right here but how do we know that it's 
that it's, we just can't find it. And we're not from this area. We don't know the CO. And, uh, you know, even if you did, you shouldn't be doing that. That if you can't find it, you log it as a DNF. So it's unfortunate for us because this is a geo art. It will never be completed that we know of. You know, we probably will be back in the area, but it's just, it's a fact of life. You know, just get over it, move on. We will still have a cool looking picture, just not complete. That's okay. The bear got him. Yep, I guess he did. <laughs> Rah! That was so graceful. <laughs>